let us see some uh, usage of the dashboard. In here we uh, created a view called potential beacon in traffic and we see some activity there something that is you know sending small amount of data at a uh, constant rate hmm. as you know we can this, this can be a search we, we have shown in some of the videos how easy it is to create these uh, portlets in here but let's say that we want to see wh when this thing started so in the time range let's say well let me look at the last 24 hours and then let's see how does the chart look and here we can uh, even clearly see that this is definitely something that might be worth investigating so we can actually zoom in and see uh, these uh, IP addresses doing that beaconing one of the things that we can actually do is that we can actually uh, go from right from here let me scroll down again right from here we can actually go into the network activity to go into that tab of the network activity and see this uh, uh, this traffic uh, in more detail and actually click here on update the details and see what we have well we have let me actually make this larger so we can see which are the IP addresses we have these I three IP addresses again uh, doing some uh, traffic and notice the rule in here the, the rule that we put in here for the filter another rule the filter for the for the search is traffic is local to remote destination port is port 80 this is not the successful communication and this is a building block that defines what a normal communication is not to get this as a some sort of a beaconing uh, this is the, the the definition of our uh, inside network uh, and uh, the source uh, byte ratio uh, this is a uh, package bytes per packet is 100 uh, percent so you can actually modify this rule and actually add let's say that you have some of this communication that is normal but you can easily add a building block or a reference set with the IP addresses where this thing is normal so it will not show up in here but so, so let's actually dive in and see what is on this first group of event we see that in here there's a there's a multiple uh, 75 of those instances of, of those uh, traffic so let's take a look at the, the first one and see why curator thinks that this is uh, worth looking at so well scroll down here and see whether well I mean right here we see something strange this is obviously some sort of uh, command and control where, where the, the, the machine that has been pawned is actually telling the, the master hey I'm ready whenever you want me to do stuff so that's not good so let's look at here on the and the additional information look at the custom rules that fire on here you know this one is actually calls my attention is xforce botnet potential communication to a not botnet can see well so looks like uh, this uh, IP address in China is actually known has IP reputation and the xforce uh, picked up on it that is uh, used for uh, for command and control networks and if we look at the other one of the others IP address we're going to see that several but at least three machines in our network has actually been compromised again this is a multiple events and we click down here and it's you know it's another IP address that actually been pawned so it looks like people have been clicking where they are not supposed to this is a you know another example of how to uh, use the graphic information in curator uh, to actually, uh, you know, uh, detect uh, things like uh, beaconing.